ื่อวันที่5ธันวาคมพุทธศักราช2555พนารัฐมนตรีช่วยว่าการกระทรวงเกษตรและสหกรณ์นายยุทธพงศ์จรัสเถียนในฐานะผู้แทนรัฐบาลไทยเป็นผู้กล่าวคีโนสปีดในงานเฉลิมฉลองวันดินโลก World Soy Day Securing Healthy Soil for the Food Secure World A Day Dedicated to Soy ณนะองค์การอาหารและเกษตรแห่งสหประชาชาติ FAO กรุงโรมสาธารณาอิตาลีเปิดเผยว่าในการประชุมสภารัฐมนตรี FAO Council ครั้งที่145ระหว่างวันที่3ถึง7ธันวาคม2555ณนะสำนักงานใหญ่ FAO กรุงโรมที่ประชุมสภารัฐมนตรี FAO ได้ให้ความเห็นชอบและกำหนดให้วันที่5ธันวาคมของทุกปีเป็นวันดินโลก World Soy Day และเสนอให้ FAO ผลักดันให้องค์การสหประชาชาติ United Nation ให้การรับรองวันดินโลกไว้ในระบบของสหประชาชาติในโอกาสแรกรวมทั้งผลักดันให้ UN ประกาศให้ปี2017เป็นปีดินสากล The International Year of Soy เพื่อเร่งสร้างความตระหนักถึงบทบาทและความสำคัญของทรัพยากรดินที่มีต่อความมั่นคงทางอาหารของโลก World Food Security ในระดับนานาชาติอย่างจริงจังเราเข้าไปติดตามชมบรรยากาศในการประชุมกันได้เลยค่ะเราเคยมีการแสดงความเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็นเห็
management of soils and land research in many ways. It provides technical and policy support and in compliance and analyze relevant information, producing, for example, the soil map, map of the world. This support goes back many decades. In the 90s, the Soil Fertile Initiative with the World Bank raised the attention of countries in the sub-Saharan Africa to the need for an integrated soil policy. In response to requests my members to further promote the importance of this natural resource, last year, FAO launched the Global Soil Partnership. We encourage countries to take the partnership to the national levels. FAO is ready to assist you in this effort. We will launch today the state of the art report on global and regional soil information, the first technical report of this partnership. We already have a copy available. Ladies and gentlemen, for some time now, we have known that it can take up to 1,000 years to form just one centimeter of soil. And yet, all of what that can be lost in just a few minutes to degradation and erosion. In many ways, soil is still a highly resource. It is not a renewable resource and it will take generations to bring back the soil we lose. Let me end by telling you a story. I still remember my first class in soil science in my agronomy university in the late 60s. The professor explained that soil was primarily made <coughs> up of clay, sand, and water. So he took parts of it, mixed them in a pan, and threw this clay, sand, and water mixed in the ground. Then he asked us if that mess on the floor was soil. The answer was no. Because soil is a living structure. It breathes, it lives, and it can take thousands of years to create the condition needed to reproduce. That's why we need to treat it with care. As a lively bud, it is. I do not want to take more of your time. I'm sure we will have a positive and constructive debate in this section. I want to end taking once again His Majesty the King of Thailand and those here present for helping raise awareness for such a precious and undervaluable natural resource, the life in soil. Thank you. And now I would like to introduce His Excellency, Mr. Yutafong Jalasi Tien, Deputy Minister of Agriculture and Cooperatives of Thailand, who will deliver his keynote speech, a day dedicated to soils. Excellency, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to participate in this event on the margin of Managing Living Soil Workshop organized by FAO Council and Global Soil Partnership. As we all know, we are living 
in the time of great challenge on food security during month. The accelerating pace of climate change combined with the increasing of global population and income growth teaching food security in every country nowadays. Considering the cost spring between agricultural production and food security, the sustainable management of soil resource will contribute enormously to global food security, which is the gateway interest to the world population. <coughs> Given the fact that soil is a natural resource, covering one fourth of the planet's surface, it is a finished and non renewable resource that has been significantly degraded to time. Therefore, soil management is imperative to maintain and enhance soil fertility, including fostering the use of soil resource in a sustainable manner with is a main interest among soil scientists around the world. In Thailand, it has been more than half a century since His Majesty King Pumibon Adulele ascended the throne. Although these years, many projects under His Majesty initiative has been implemented and developed for the purpose of economics and social development, as well as the conservation of natural resources and the environment to reach the ultimate goal of people, well-being, and happiness. His Majesty, the King of Thailand, has a great interest in soil science when the possible utilization of land and water resources would definitely improve the quality of life of Thai people whom 80% earn their living to agricultural practice. His Majesty <laughs> Dedicates has time to study soil problems with a consultation for many world-renowned soil scientists to identify soil problems and how to solve them by scientific means. As a consequence, His Majesty in detail and established six loyal development study center. The main purpose of this center is to is set to develop land and solve agricultural problems by continuously conducting business, training, and extension activities. In traveling with the soil, degradation, for instance, His Majesty in each a project in the southern province of Narachiwa, where he found a solution to soil acidity. During a loyal visit to Narachiwa province in 1981, His Majesty the King found out that southern people were facing the problem of wet uh, pest farm from the fact in rainy season, damage of water from Petsamam result in acid surface soil, which again is not suitable for agriculture. Wherever water is then out from the soil surface in Petsamam forest, 
Pyrite react with oxygen in the air to form sulfuric acid, making more acid sulfate soil with the intention and action to overcome this complication, His Majesty has set up a research project called Franklin. All the activation of acid sulfate soil at Thikuntong Royal Development Study Center, the name of the project Franklin is literally mean paying a trip on soil. The technique is repeat that we switching the soil from soap. Wait to die to make it extremely acid. Then applying treatment to revitalize the extremely acid soil for cultivation. A soil treatment process will depend on the existing conditions of the soil very form. Use using of water to remove soil acidity with application of nitrogen, nitrogenous and phosphatic fertilizer or using of lime mix with topsoil such as mold and lime dust or using of lime in combination with soil flooding and careful manipulation of groundwater level. Another example of His Majesty insight is on the problem of the losing of topsoil and soil erosion. In the northern part of Thailand, Highland cultivation is mostly affected by this incident. Some kind of barriers are needed to slow down the landing of and to keep water in the soil long enough. The panic goes. His Majesty, the King, in each study and experiment on the use of vegetable grass known in Thai as Yafa, as a potential solution that is both economical and friendly to the environment. Vegetable grass is an easily grown plant of which numerous roots spread deeply no word like a wall, so it helps fill the soil sediment while keep the soil surface intact. Therefore, it would effectively prevent soil erosion on the slope or hillside area and among the bank of river and canals. Moreover, vegetable grass is also multi-purpose plant. It can be grown in fat plain area for an alternative crop to make animal feed and decompose fertilizer. It can be utilized as the roof desk for rural housing. Its oil extracts can be used and herbal medicine and perfumes. His Majesty Vegetable Plus in each church earned him to pay award in 1993 from the International Erosion Control Association or IECA and the World Bank. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, His Majesty work have inspire many international soil scientists to follow and help develop further methods to improve sustainable soil management. The International Union of Soil Science 
made a resolution in 2002 to propose the 5th of December, the birthday of His Majesty at Bursoy Day. This is to honor His Majesty, the King of Thailand, for his promotion of soil science and soil resource conversation. Recently, on 16 April this year, the International Union of Soil Science Descent of Life membership to award His Majesty the Humanitarian Soil Science uh, Medal to have an honor to His Majesty, dedication to soil resource management. Today, on this auspicious as, occasion of His Majesty, the King of Thailand, 85th birthday anniversary, on behalf of Thai people, I would like to express my profound gratitude to the to the FAO and the International Union of Soil Science in recognizing the 5th of December <coughs> to celebrate World Soil Day. To follow His Majesty's step, I would like to reaffirm that Thailand will pay an active and constructive role in recognizing <coughs> the crucial law of soil for food security and considering the enormous challenge for their sustainable management and protection, we will <coughs> pace soil development and management at the top of the government agenda. We will create the awareness and highlight the importance of soil resource to society in Thailand and all country members as a further fundamental factor for food production and global food security. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Minister. Before we continue, I'd just like to make a brief announcement. Simultaneous translation is available. You'll find at your seats the sets on, the, on channel one is English, channel two is French, and channel three is Spanish. Thank you. And now we'll continue with His Excellency, Mr. Miguel Oyono Don Nifumo, Minister of Agriculture and Forestry of Equatorial Guinea, who will now discover his keynote speech, Soils and Food Security. Gracias. 
varias ocasiones que se estima la necesidad de producir mayor cantidad de alimentos al horizonte de 2050. Por lo tanto, debemos preguntarnos si nuestros suelos serán capaces de hacerlo. La importancia del recurso suelo debe ser reconocido por todos, porque la seguridad alimentaria no podría ser garantizada sin, un mejor, sin una mejor gestión y manejo de ese recurso. En mi país, Guinea Ecuatorial, nosotros desarrollamos políticas para su buen manejo y gestión sostenible. Y como saben, los suelos en las zonas ecuatorial tropical, como es en mi caso, son suelos en general pobres, a pesar de la gran cantidad de vegetación, pero en gran medida ricos en minerales, muchas veces valiosos. Para promover la producción de alimentos, nuestros agricultores utilizan sistemas yo llamaría inteligente sin que nadie se lo enseñe, promoviendo mecanismos de fijación biológica de nitrógeno para enriquecer los suelos pobres, con la plantación de cultivos de plantas de, de familias luminosas. Estas medidas biológicas son acompañadas por medidas legislativas como la creación del reglamento para la gestión concertada de suelos y el fomento de capacitación y formación de los extensionistas y agricultores como estrategia para mantener los suelos sanos y garantizar la producción y la productividad de los mismos. Debo felicitar a la FAO por la organización de este evento paralelo, pero créanme, me acabo de esperar de que existe un Día Mundial del Suelo y que era precisamente este 5 de diciembre. Ese es simplemente un pequeño reflejo de cómo estamos realmente preocupados por el tema de los suelos. Estamos seguros que teniendo un Día Mundial del Suelo y realizando campañas de concientización sobre su importancia, podemos conseguir mayor conciencia sobre su manejo y así promover mayor inversión para hacer que los suelos sean fértiles y productivos. Estoy convencido de que si invertimos en el manejo sostenible de los suelos, podemos producir más y los pequeños agricultores podrán tener acceso a más alimentos y también podrán generar mayores ingresos. El suelo puede ser un recurso para aliviar la pobreza. Es en virtud de ello que esto a la FAO a trabajar para que el tema del suelo, ya que es la base de la seguridad alimentaria y esta debe de ser considerada como la prioridad número uno cuando se habla del desarrollo. Nosotros estamos comprometidos con la seguridad alimentaria y el desarrollo rural y en virtud de ello invitamos a toda la comunidad internacional a unir esfuerzos y trabajar juntos por un desarrollo integral. El reflejo de la salud del suelo es el reflejo del desarrollo de nuestras poblaciones y la calidad del medio ambiente. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Mr. Minister. And next we have Professor Jay Yang, President of the International Union of Soil Sciences, joined by Mr. Winifred Bloom, the former Secretary of the International Union of Soil Sciences, whose keynote address asks, why a World Soil Day? Thank you. Your Excellency, Director General, FAO Silva, Assistant Director General Mueller, distinguished speakers and guests, it is great honor for me to be this podium in this afternoon, especially being <coughs> sandwiched by Director General and Director General of FAO. <clears throat> I would express many sincere thanks to FAO and Global Soil Partnership for declaring the observance of World Soil Day on December 5th from this year. 
International Union of Soil Sciences is global union of 60,000 soil scientists from 130 countries. IUSS found in 1944 in Rome to foster all branches of soil sciences and their applications and to give support to soil scientists in the pursuit of their activities. There are four divisions, 22 commissions, and eight working groups. Please visit our homepage for details. As Deputy Minister of Thailand mentioned that, in 2002, IUSS councils made resolution to have World Soil Day on December 5th to celebrate globally the uh, importance of soil. Why World Soil Day? 